Okay, we're back again with Sprint taking another look at the HTC Evo 4G, formerly known as the Supersonic, the brand new Android uh, 4G WiMAX phone from Sprint. Um, we showed you a little brief overview yesterday. What we're going to do today is go through uh, some of the apps and some of the cool features on the Evo 4G. Um, stuff like YouTube high quality, uh, Google goggles, and uh, yeah, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so uh, yeah, we actually um, showed it yesterday, and some of the things that I'll show off real quick, I mean, one of the big things you'll see right away is we're running on 4G, so America's first 4G handset. Actually, the world's first uh, 3G, 4G Android handset. This. So it'll it'll drop down to 3G when there's no 4G coverage. Just yeah, yeah. So actually, um, you have the ability to turn on and off 3G, 4G. I'm not going to do it, but um, um, so when you're on 4G, it'll look for 4G. If it doesn't find that, it'll go to EVDO Rev A, EVDO uh -huh. uh, 1XRTT. So um, pretty basic as far as um, uh, Android, but uh, HTC Sense. So. So that's where that comes from, and you get the little yeah bar widgets, down there. yeah, and, and some new features with Sense. So um, this is actually a pretty cool one. Um, actually, the ability to see all seven of your home screens all in one place. And then just jump to whichever one real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. Not to flick it by. Yeah. And, yeah. So if I want to go to places where I've got some content loaded up, like here's a good example. Rather than having to stream through it, it makes it just a lot easier. I can get there this way. Um, but to me, it seems a little right. Lazier. There's a lot of pains, and if you yeah. want to go from one end to the other, yep. that makes it a lot quicker. Yeah. Um, the other thing with HTC Sense, they've added uh, FriendStream, kind of a new feature to uh, really kind of pulling together full integration of all your um, social media. So pulling together Twitter, um, Facebook updates, um, anything that you've got as far as updates. So all social media kind of in a uh, in a in a stream as it happens. Absolutely. A real time stream. Yeah. Yep. 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 So um, let me go over to some of the apps that we talked about. Yeah, so these apps down here, these are some of the cool uh, cool new things with this. Yeah, and a lot of these are apps that are available um, you know, in Android markets, uh, but a couple things. Um, some of them have been optimized for the device, um, and they're actually applications that we think really show off uh, a few of the real key things of the device itself. So certainly show off 4G and a great 4G network, mm -hmm. uh, but show off the capabilities of the device. So a big display. So the display is 4.3 inches. Um, also show off things that... Um, um, things like dual camera, so Quick is a great application. Um, could use the front-facing camera, which is a 1.3 megapixel camera here. Here's the lens. That dot right there. Yeah, and I'll flip it over. Show you the 8 megapixel camera. So a huge and camera. And that's a primary camera. Yeah. Of course. And with with a dual LED flash. Yep. Very good. And with Quick, um, it's great to have an 8 megapixel camera because it allows you to... Sorry. <laughs> uh, it actually allows you to shoot, you know, uh, HD quality of video. Um, so the device itself is capable of shooting HD quality 720p video, as well as outputting the video via the HDMI output. So that HDMI, will, it'll, it'll put out to any size TV up to, you know, we were using an 85 inch yesterday. I think that's pretty amazing. Yeah, absolutely. It's just HDMI standard um, and supports up to 720p. So these applications actually are applications I think that really kind of show off um, 4G, the camera, and really um, a great processor. So it uses a Snapdragon processor. Um, so, so can we take a look at uh, a couple of these apps? Yeah, when we look at Layer. So Layer is an app that's in the uh, Android market, and it's a really cool application. But um, it's again something that actually shows off. Hopefully. Um, shows off the capabilities, you know, of the things I've talked about. So this is actually um, kind of a virtual reality or augmented reality application. And what the application is actually doing here, um, let's see if it's going to do it. No, it's not connecting. So it's working in 3G. Uh, so what this is is actually an augmented reality um, application. And this is an example where it's actually going out and using GPS, identifying people who are tweeting or have tweeted recently, kind of throwing these people on a pictogram, basically. And what ends up happening is I end up getting these dots. Oh, so those dots are the people that are tweeting. Yeah, exactly. And I'll start getting profile information. So I start getting imagery. 
imagery. So these are these folks' profiles. And I can actually see what this oh, guy is actually right yeah, yeah. And then I could act on it as well too. So perhaps I want to see where he's at or I want to reply to his tweet or get details about him or his tweet itself. Mm -hmm. So kind of interesting. I mean, that's, that's cool. yeah. kind of a big brother type of app, but uh, there's other implementation of that as well too. So maybe I'm hungry um, or thirsty. Um, so maybe I want to grab a burger or something. Does the same thing, uses GPS, starts looking around us, basically starts seeing things like pizzas and fries, click on the, pe the uh, french fry, pulls up Cafe Verde. Um, maybe I want to get directions there, or maybe I want to give that place a call. So really using the network, using the ability of the camera. Um, as, as well as all as, the built-in features, the yeah. Macs and calling yep. and voice and all that. Yep, and then a great processor, because you need processing speed you know, to render images uh -huh. and gather information. Well, that's definitely a cool app. Talk a little bit about Goggles. Um, if people are familiar with Goggles, again, it's, um, it's an Android app available in the, uh, the uh, app catalog. Um, Really what this is, is allows us to take a picture of, you know, anything imagery. It's really image-based search. So I think what I'll do is go up here, take a picture of HTC Evo, see if I get some results. So the application actually scans information. And it'll actually go out and start looking. And it was that. So it'll quick. analyze the image for any any recognizable features like text and, yeah. and in this go case, ahead and search through Google for it. Yeah, it actually must have recognized either HTC or the logo itself and pulled information. So you can do this with landmarks, you can do it with labels, you can do it with barcodes, you can do it with uh, covers books, of books, DVDs, stuff, yeah, 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 anything that's pretty recognizable. It doesn't do so good with, you know, pictures of people, pictures of pets, those types of things. Right. Yep. But you saw how quick it really came back. I mean, so literally, Again, using some of the key things of the device, uh, a great camera, great network, a great processor, and you know, hitting uh, Google's databases basically, pulling back information instantly, and then really presenting a great web experience as well too. All right, yeah, so Google Goggles. That's definitely a very cool one. So um, I noticed the, uh, the Sprint app right there, the yeah, Sprint Hotspot. Sprint Hotspot. Yeah. So and that, that, that's going to come preloaded on the Evo 4G? Yeah, actually what it is is, you know, basically a mobile hotspot. So it allows this device to be used as a mobile hotspot. So in 3G or 4G coverage, um, works on both. Um, obviously a lot better in 4G. So I have the ability to connect up to eight devices to this, to the Evo. So this, this really basically turns router. this phone into a wireless router, a Wi-Fi router. And yep, you can yep. name it and set security and... Yep, Other absolutely. devices never know the difference. Yep. And pretty traditional, web, WPA. Everything you'd need, yeah. Yep. And connecting is as simple as And up to how many people can it... Uh, uh, up to eight users. Up to eight. Yep. Okay. Great. And uh, I think I saw Quick out there. Is, yeah. that, is that something that's going to come preloaded as well? Yeah, it actually is. And it's a native app, and it's you know an application that's been built specifically. So it uses kind of the... Um, uh, the existing Quick app that's certainly out in the Android market. Um, basically just one button click to start recording. And I start, as, soon, as soon as I see the website that actually shows what I'm actually actively streaming to, to the Quick site, um, I could share information from here or if I've set up things in Quick, you know, I can actually post stuff to Facebook, I can post it to post uh, tweets to Twitter. Um, really just allows you to do pretty much live streaming of content and sharing of that content as well too. Okay. Well that's a cool little look at all the new features, the new apps that are going to come on the HTC Evo 4G when it launches on Sprint uh, later this year. That's been a quick little look.